اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وهو الذي جعل لكم النجوم لتهتدوا بها في ظلمات البر والبحر قد فصلنا الآيات لقوم يعلمون وهو الذي أنشأكم من نفس واحدة فمستقر ومستودع قد فصلنا الآيات لقوم يفتهون وهو الذي أنزل من السماء ماء فأخرجنا به نبات كل شيء فأخرجنا منه قدرا نخرج منه حبا متراكبا ومن النقل من تلها قنوان دانية وجنات من عناب والزيتون والرمان مشتبها وغير متشابه انظروا إلى سمره إذا أسمر وينعه إن في ذلكم لآيات لقوم يؤمنون صدق الله العظيم You must have noted all these three ayat which I have just recited start with the same verse هو الذي هو الذي هو الذي Now actually, what is Tawheed? Tawheed is that whatever is happening is in this universe. Although it is happening according to certain laws of nature. And these laws of nature, science has investigated and is investigating, knowing more and more of them, then exploiting them more and more. But the result is, that the modern scientific rationalism or if you allow me to call it modern scientific ignorance is that we tend to believe that these things are happening by on their own automatically no divine will no divine command no divine permission everything happening by its own simple laws of nature working automatically Thus we go farther away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are diving deep into the laws of the nature. We are knowing more and more of them. We are exploiting them. Science is advancing. And we are, you know, even conquering the space. But, you know, we are going farther and farther and farther away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here we know, Allah says it is Allah who is doing it. He doesn't say that these laws of nature which we have discovered are wrong. It is happening according to the laws. But who made the laws? And not only that he made the laws, but also is controlling. He can, you know, break the laws whenever he likes. So that is actually Tawheed. You can join these things together. This is science. This we know the laws of the nature. We are investigating these phenomena. We are knowing more and more. But... You know, the decisive will is of Allah. It is His command. He is doing it. It is He who has made for you the stars so that you get the guidance through them in the darknesses of the land as well as the sea. And we have detailed our revelation for people who know اور ہو وانٹ ٹو نو وہ اللہ شاہ کو میں نفسی واحدہ اٹ از ہی ہو ہیز ریز یو اینڈ کریٹڈ یو فرام ون بینگ فار مستقر و مستودا دین دیر از این اباؤٹ اے لاجنگ پلیس اینڈ اے ریپوزیٹری ناؤ دی میننگز آف دیز ٹو ورڈس وٹ ڈو دے کانوٹ There is a def- difference of opinion among the Mufassirin. Mustaqar is some place where you live. You stay long. Sort of a permanent abode. Mustaqar, where you keep something for some time. Temporarily. There's a, there are three views among the Mufassirin. Mustaqar is Akhra. The hereafter is the Mustaqar. The permanent abode is Akhra, not this dunya. And this dunya is Mustawda. We are here temporarily. This is not our abode. This is not permanent lodging place for us. This is a temporary stay here that we are having. The other opinion, Mustaqar is Akhra. Mustawda is Qabr. In which you are placed for this period of intervening between your death and resurrection. 
So this is the repository where you have been placed. And the third opinion is that mustaqar is dunya and mustada is the womb of the mother. There we remain for a while, for nine months. That was a temporary place to stay. And then, you know, mustaqar was dunya because we had to stay here, say, for 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 40 years. So these are the three opinions. It is he who raised you from one being, one living organism, nafsin wahida. Then he has given you the permanent abode also and a temporary place of repository. We have explained our revelations for people who understand. And it is he who is sending down water from the height, from the sky. He brings the rain. Although it's the water from the oceans which is evaporating and going up and then, you know, it condenses in the atmosphere to become, you know, the clouds and the winds are taking the clouds far off. It's okay, you know it. There's, there's no contradiction. But actually, this whole system is being controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you keep Allah along with these scientific phenomena in your mind, both simultaneously, then it is wahid. If you just ignore Allah, it is going on by itself. And all your attention is focused on these physical phenomena and scientific phenomena then you drift away and you just lose sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is actually going astray it is he who sends down water then we bring out with it with this water the vegetation of everything then you know we, we bring out from the earth the green crop minhu habban mutarakiba and then we grow the, the the you know the grain the close clustered grain and from the date palms from the space thereof come forth thick clustered dates low hanging and then we have created Gardens of grapes, was zaituna and of olive, was rumana and pomegranate. Mustabihan wagayru mutashabe. They look similar to each other, but they are also dissimilar. What does it mean? You know, from one you know plant, one tree, the pomegranates, they look, they appear to be very close and very similar to each other, but in taste they are different. Unzuru ila samare he look with attention towards the fruit that it is bearing is a asmara when it bears the fruit and the ripening of the fruit this process is in your before your own eyes it is going on but who is doing it is it happening on its own automatically without any controller without any creator no in in all these things there are signs for those who want to believe, who have the belief. They observe this and their conviction in Allah is that the increases. A scientist who is a moment scientist, when he observes all these phenomena, you know, his estimation of Allah becomes greater and greater. Oh, he is all powerful. He can do everything. He is all wise. But you know who doesn't believe in Allah? He is knowing all these laws and phenomena and science and the, and the laws of nature, and so, but he is not, no, he doesn't believe in Allah and he is not estimating him as the omnipotent, omniscient and omnipresent Allah. Vajalu lillahi shurakal jinn. Another form of their shirk was that they had designated to jinns to be equals to Allah. Vajalu lillahi shurakal jinn. Although Allah has created them, He created you, He created the jinns also. You are also a creator of Allah and they are also the creator of Allah. So why do you hold them as high as associating them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And they have concocted for Allah sons and daughters. The Christians say that Jesus was the begotten son of God. And there had been a sect 
among the Jews who said that Ezra, Uzair alayhi salatu was salam was son of Allah. And not only these people, you know, the pagan Arabs, they used to say, these deities, these goddesses, Lat and Uzra and Manal, they are daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they thought that angels are daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَخَرَقُوا لَهُ بَنِينَ وَبَنَاتٍ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ Without any knowledge. What is the basis? On what authority are you saying it? Have Allah said it so in any of his scriptures? In Torah? In, in Bible? Anywhere? وَخَرَقُوا لَهُ بَنِينَ وَبَنَاتٍ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَىٰ عَمَّا يَسِفُونَ Glory to him. And he is far beyond, much high and exalted than what they are attributing to him.